There are evil men in the world who are positioning themselves to take over certain countries and enslave the population. With their vain philosophies and illogical outlooks, these men will push for control and set themselves up as powerful leaders, but they will not survive and neither will their countries. The hearts of these men are beating at a very rapid pace and they are filled with anxiety and fear, for as one leader falls, another takes their place. Each are fearful of the other, because they do not know when they should take defensive positions. Many of the corporate minions in Washington, D.C. are just pawns in this global chess game. It's all political theater and the script has already been written. It is now time for the general public to wake up to the fact that this whole political system is rigged. The facts are that we live in the United States of America Incorporated. Freedom has a price and the general public, who believes they are free, are being deceived into believing they have a choice. There is no choice. All of the political leaders are selected, not elected. There is no such thing as democracy or a republic. Those ideals ended in 1871. Folks, welcome. This is the American Liberty Radio Network. This is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast for the 25th of June, 2015. I don't know, folks. We've warned you. We've put the warning out. We've told you everything there was to know. Showed you what was behind the curtain, who was pushing the buttons and pulling the handles. Told you exactly who it was and why they were doing it. But what did you think was going to happen? Huh. Asking uh, the, 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 the folks that you thought were nothing more than conspiracy theorists were absolutely 100% correct there's no doubt about it no doubt about it whatsoever now of course you've got uh, Christians who are saying well you know this was biblical prophecy it was prophesied many years ago it was in the Bible you could have just read that and saw yeah yeah okay I'll I'll give you that portion of your you know narrative but remember Nobody listened thousands of years ago, even to those who believed in God. But now we have a country that is now a third world country. I could be wrong about this, and I know there might be a few more votes in the House to to defeat the TPA, the... TPP and the TISA, and it might be, you know, might be all smoke and mirrors, which of course I'm sure it is, but we've been distracted by a flag in South Carolina. We've been distracted by so many things over the years that we failed to do one very simple thing pay attention. And now, where is your lackadaisical attitude and your non-compliance to a principle of freedom and liberty gotten you? Think about that one. AmericanLibertyRadio.com American Liberty Radio at USA.com What we see is not reality. It is distorted reality. Distorted reality with Nick Tucker on Facebook.
the reality underneath the honesty. Listen to Brian Lang over at Live Truth Radio. Go to LiveTruthRadio.com for more information. Hey folks, welcome. This is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast right here on the American Liberty Radio Network. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're doing well, because as far as I'm concerned, we no longer have the United States of America. We're done, folks. Done. The United States of America is no longer. We now live in the North American Union. Certain parts of the Obamacare, of the uh, Patients Affordable Care Act, have been upheld by the Supreme Court. The Trans-Pacific Partnership and the TISA has been passed. The United Nations now has control of all commerce in the United States. Well, most of it anyway. They now have control over the Internet, which they wanted from the beginning. So I don't know what's going to happen within the next six months to a year. But I've said it before, and a lot of other people have said it. But you didn't listen. I'm going to say this one more time. I don't believe Obama's going to leave in in 2017. If he is, Hillary Clinton will be president. Because of the fact that it's not you and I that voted. Because our votes don't count. Never have. Never will. The Bilderberg... Group have looked at her and thought, well, yeah, she's damaged goods, but. And folks, to be truly honest with you, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's not her. I hope. And this might be an extreme thought. I hope that the United States military along with the provost marshal of the federal government, goes into the White House, arrests that butthead, it's going to say another word, but, and also arrests all 535 congressmen and women. But you see, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. Because I know all too well, just by looking around this city of Reno, Nevada, and elsewhere, I know that the American people that are listening to my voice right now have absolutely no balls whatsoever. They're waiting for somebody else to get out in the streets so that they can follow them. They're waiting for some other person to shout from the rooftops so that they can agree with them. They're waiting for someone to come on the news locally and say, this is what's happening. And then they'll get behind it. Because not one person in this town of over 300,000 people have the balls to stand up against the criminal activity coming out of Washington, D.C. This is the biggest little city in the world with the very few people that have balls enough to stand up for what is wrong. And I know people in Reno, Nevada that listen to this. So you better take heed to my words, people. And I hope, I hope 
to all that's good that I am wrong. That's why I don't need anybody telling me that I am. Because I already have that thought, hey, you know what? I could be wrong in this. Do you know why? Because I don't know everything. So you better get your asses up and get out in the street, Reno, Nevada. Because you people absolutely positively have no guts to do anything. Because you're a bunch of freaking cowards. Tell me again just how patriotic you are. Tell me again just how many times you go down to the airport to welcome in one of the one of your own that has been lost in a war that is illegal, unconstitutional, and completely insane. I'm done. I'm done with ignorance. I'm done with this shallowness of, oh, everything's going to be fine. We just have to vote the right people into office. I'm done. I'm done with people ignoring the obvious. I'm done with people ignoring what they should have been paying attention to all along. I'm done. And if the local stations here, the local talk stations here, do not start talking about the real issues behind what is happening, and talk about the Bilderberg Group, and talk about the CFR, and talk about the Trilateral Commission, and start talking about the criminals that are members of these groups, even the political members of our state and of our country who are members of the, of the CFR and the Trilateral Commission and the Bilderberg Group. If you don't start talking about that, then you have no guts whatsoever. Do you think I'm sitting here, you know, basking away in my own knowledge of what I've known for well over 30 years and saying, well, you know, you're on your own. No, I'm trying and hoping in my heart of hearts to get you encouraged enough to look this stuff up yourself and to realize just how stupid you've truly been and how blind you've truly been to all of it. Do you really think, do you really think it's more important to sit around and watch your damn football games and baseball games and basketball games than it is to get out in the street and start protesting and and working your way up through the town to to protest against uh, all this stuff? Do you know how criminal it is? And let me ask you this. Do you have a freaking conscience? I mean, obviously, you've proven you don't have any balls or backbone whatsoever, but do you have a conscience? I don't know, folks. I don't know. I've taken the information I have, and I started learning all about this when I was in high school. That was many freaking years ago, folks. Carter was president. And now this president makes Carter look like a freaking choir boy. He's not the worst president in the history of the United States of America. And you thought Ulysses S. Grant was uh, corrupt? You thought President Woodrow Wilson was corrupt? This man just nailed the last nail in the coffin of freedom and liberty in the United States of America, and you're sitting there too damn worried about your stupid basketball game. What the hell is wrong with you people? Hey, men. Did somebody castrate you? 
Did somebody pull your backbone out? Are you limp? Oh, this ain't a Viagra commercial. This is me telling you that you lost everything that made you a man. Hey, women, I'm not leaving you out of this. Don't applaud too loudly. Because you lost your courage. And you lost your idealism of what family and the future of your life could be. And don't get me wrong. Everybody has to work together. And everybody has ideas that may work. You got to work it out yourself. But women... You either stand up, speak out, get involved, as Brian Lang says over at LiveTruthRadio.com, and help your men, support your men, and do what you can to protect them as much as they protect you, or else you don't have a future. I don't know what else to tell you. I have no idea what else to tell you. I'm just so disappointed in my fellow man that I've lost faith in my fellow man. And that's something to say because, hey, I'm sure there are people out there that are going to do what they can. And I applaud them for that. But how is that going to help? You can go out and hold up all the signs you want and protest all the organizations you want. You can stand out there and, and give yourselves photo ops by doing selfies and posting them on a social network somewhere. But until you get your feet a moving to the city hall, to the governor's mansion, to the state capitals, nothing will get done because you don't have the balls to do it. And don't sit there and be angry at me because I'm pissing you off. Focus that anger on something that matters, like changing this whole system back to a more free and liberated system that gives you the rights to speak out, that gives you the rights to worship how you want, that gives you the the, the ability to have a base, a voice, and remember your ancestors in the United States of America in the War of Independence may have lost their life for you to be able to have all of it. Until 1871, things were fine. And then President Ulysses S. Grant signed this little document called the Act of 1871, turning the United States of America into the United States of America Incorporated. Go look it up. It's history. Think again, folks, as to how you go about your day today. Think again about how you look your children in the face and keep wondering, geez, what kind of future are they going to have if I don't do something about it? Keep looking your grandchildren in the face as they go off to school and you not know whether or not they're going to come home because some addle-brained, drug-infested moron is going to take a gun into a school. And it's not about the guns, it's about the people behind it. Hillary Clinton is wrong, she's nothing but a, well, I'm not going to say that word, you women hate it. Let me calm down during the break. I'll come back and we'll get into some news. American Liberty Radio at USA.com is the email address. American Liberty Radio.com is the website. I'll be back right after this. We all live in a police state. We must accept that now. 
What we must do is to challenge every law or ordinance or policy on a local level. We must completely defy all orders that are unconstitutional and unlawful. We must peacefully engage in civil disobedience. It is our right, our duty, to disobey unconstitutional laws and tyrannical philosophies. We must stand up and defend the basic principles of freedom and liberty. The nation is falling apart and people are being distracted. We must adhere to the spirit of the words of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. The only service of this kind, offering you fast and easy access to the very best talent from around the world. Creating your own audio doesn't have to be difficult or time-consuming. Music Radio Creative is your source for all of your audio and production needs. That's Music Radio Creative. MusicRadioCreative.com Are you a voice actor? Would you like to perform on radio plays? Send your audition clips to Eastland Radio Theater. Scripts are available. Send your information to Eastland Radio Theater at USA.com. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome, this is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast right here on the American Liberty Radio Network. Radio, radio in your ears in a new way. I'd like to, you know, put that out there. It's it's different. Yeah, you might have heard certain things in a certain way and probably think, well, you know, he's just like everybody else. No, it's different. Okay. American Liberty Radio Network, sharing the truth, one fact at a time, without all the BS. That's what's different. AmericanLibertyRadio.com is the website. AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com is the email address. Please let me know what is on your mind. So there you go. Go to American Liberty Radio Network on Facebook, on the fascist book, on the whatever. I've posted some things there this today, this morning when I got up, and I was amazed at what I saw. I'm amazed at the fact that people cannot wrap their minds around the blatant skull plugging that you're getting through the psychological operations of the mainstream media. Okay? I'm just amazed by that. And we got this whole uh, thing about the flag. We got uh, just a bunch of other things going on. I think what makes it more of a unbelievable situation has been the blatant excuses people use such as I don't want to hear bad things because I don't want it ruining my day or well we can always vote somebody else in and they'll do what's right no, no, no those two excuses are the dumbest thing I have ever heard TPP passes. Obama now a dictator. Foundation of global government cemented with passage of secretive bill. One of the most devastating blows to U.S. sovereignty since the country's founding was dealt today as the Senate handed President Obama his Trans-Pacific Partnership victory. Despite massive opposition from the American people, Tea Party Republicans, and a majority of Democrats, Obama was granted fast-track authority by 60 to 38 vote. 
sections of the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, published by Wiki, uh, WikiLeaks, have revealed the treaty's vast influence over multiple areas, including individual rights, internet freedom, and even the rule of law itself. Unelected corporate boards and the president can now wield unprecedented control over almost every aspect of human activity. Quote, if you read, write, publish, think, listen, dance, sing, or invent, if you farm or consume food, if you're ill now or might be one uh, day be ill, the TPP has you in its crosshairs, unquote. WikiLeaks Julian Assange wrote, Secret TPP chapters regarding immigration also grant President Obama an even greater ability to erode country's southern border. Quote, Obama will be able to finalize all three of the Obamacare deals without any congressional input. Unquote. Notes Breitbart. The TPP, which covers 12 countries and more than 40% of the world's economy, will place North America under the same global government structure as the European Union, where laws are increasingly increasingly crafted outside of public influence. That is from Infowars.com, written by Alex Jones himself. There's a video there. It's on the American Liberty Radio Network Facebook page. You may or may not like him. You may think that he's something other than what he claims he is. But I don't think the personality should be a concern. I believe the message should be a concern. Okay? I don't know why people want to ignore the obvious. I don't know why people don't have a backbone or a set of balls to take care of what has to be taken care of. I do know that since 1871, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, and all the banking interests around the world wanted to collapse the United States of America into a third world nation to create slaves for their criminal enterprises. How many companies do you know have shadow Companies created shadow companies, shadow bank accounts, offshore investments. It's all criminal, folks. Anytime you try to hide something from someone, you've created a wedge between you and that person or those groups of people. Anytime you try to hide something and do something behind somebody's back that will somehow affect that other person, you have just become a criminal. Okay? Well, there's a lot more than that. There's a a whole pathology behind how people become criminal. You might want to go read. Oh, what's that? I actually got to open a book? Yeah, dumbass. You actually have to go open a book and learn something. I don't know, folks. It's gotten to the point where you can look at your mainstream news and scratch your head. Well, if you do that too much, it's not that you had dandruff. It's that you uh, just absolutely do not know what's going on. This is why you need to go out and learn. You need to go out and watch. You need to go out and pay attention. You need to actually figure out how to protect yourself from now on. Bottom of the hour, I'm going to go to break. You can go to AmericanLibertyRadio.com. You can also email me with your comments, concerns, questions. Even if you disagree with me, the burden of proof is on you. AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. AmericanLibertyRadio at USA.com. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Sharing the truth one fact at a time without all the BS. This is the American Liberty Radio Network. The 
grand adventure. Yeah. From the directorial debut of Brian James Griffo, two brothers faced with a rare genetic disease that causes blindness decide to take a journey of a lifetime and answer the question, what would you see if you knew you were going to go blind? It honestly makes me feel so small and like whatever problems I have are nothing. What would you do? You're supposed to smell it first. Who would you meet? This is an opportunity for us to connect with people. Oh, I can see you. In a groundbreaking documentary that cuts to the heart of what it means to be a brother. It blows my mind that a hundred years ago, this is how people would have done this trip that we're doing. Yep. And gain a world of vision while losing eyesight. Come along to be inspired and reminded of the very meaning of life through a 12,000 mile road trip. Driving blind. Coming soon. Coming to America. <laughs>
militarized law enforcement that grab you and your kids, put you in a truck, and haul you away. Hmm, sound familiar? MTV had two commercials. Two. That depicted something similar to that. There was a movie which never got made, but the trailer was pretty lengthy. Go look up Gray State. And how about checking out a book that was written in 2008, I think, 2008 or 2010, called Dictator in Chief. You can find that, I believe, on Amazon. Written by Brian Keller. He told me back then he made it a fictional story. But when you read it, it pretty much isn't fictional. A lot of people throughout the years have told us what was going to happen, how it was going to happen, who was going to perpetrate and implement all these unconstitutional laws. As a matter of fact, all these laws that no longer uh, represent the people or or have an agreement with the people or the people have an agreement with the government. Do you see how really confusing it can get? I was told once, years ago, in a church, mind you, that at some point the Constitution would be abolished. I asked that person why, and they said, because of everything going on in the United States. This was back in the, well, the mid-90s. Right when everything was coming to a head in terms of technology. I know people that have been on the internet since 1977. I remember going into a computer room at my high school when I was in high school in 1977 to 80. And the person looked at me, took the telephone, put it on the cradle, dialed the number. You heard the, you know, the dial up sound that you usually heard. Connected to the internet. And I said, what the? He's like, yeah, I'm connected to the administration building downtown. And then that goes out to other schools and other places. And I'm like, that's interesting. I began to look into that. That was about the same time I began to look at who was behind the curtain pushing the buttons and pulling the handles. Folks. I cannot stress this enough. You are being lied to on every level. So think about your football games and your basketball games and taking your kids to ballet or t-ball or theater or whatever. Think about that, folks. Think about your husband's going out to work every day. Think about your wives going out to work or shopping every day. Not, I mean, husbands shop too, you know. Think about that. And then think about what would happen if, yeah, you heard me. What happens if, I'm going to go to break. I'll be right back. American Liberty Radio. Dot com American Liberty Radio at USA.com American Liberty Radio at USA.com Get prepared Get your emergency food supply today. Go to ALR Network Survival Store at AmericanLibertyRadio.com and click on ALR Survival Store. The reality underneath the honesty. 
Listen to Brian Lang over at Live Truth Radio. Go to LiveTruthRadio.com for more information. When the coffee is done, sit down and have a cup and listen to the best independent music station on the web. Radio Rock 92.6 The Blitz. Tom Slick delivers all the independent hits and talks about new music from all of your favorite artists. Listen to Tom Slick on The Morning Brew, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, only on Radio Rock 92.6 The Blitz. For more information, go to radiorockthablitz.blogspot.com. Hey, folks, welcome. Welcome back. This is the Wayne S. Pierce Show podcast right here on the American Liberty Radio Network. AmericanLibertyRadio.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. Email me. I want to hear from you. There's a lot of things going on, folks. Go to American Liberty Radio Network on Facebook. From... Smoloco, S-M-O-L-O-K-O dot com. It says, U.S. NATO allies exaggerating threat from Russia. Activist post, apparently. Quote, there is no threat from Russia today. NATO is exaggerating the so-called Russian threat, unquote, said Bruce Gagnon. The United States and its NATO allies are exaggerating the so-called threat from Russia on behalf of the Jewish bankers that control America's money creation. Why? To justify more bogus military and security spending, which will place the American people further in debt to the privately owned Jewish Federal Reserve Bank. And second, to create the needed pretext for World War III that will be used to submerge the U.S. and every other country into a Masonic Jewish-controlled one-world government dictatorship based on based in Jerusalem as its capital. That is what Smoloko is saying. The United States... And its NATO allies, all Illuminati Jewish sock puppets, are exaggerating, exaggerating the so-called threat from Russia to justify surrounding and destabilizing the country as well as increasing U.S. arms exports to the region, an anti-war activist and journalist in Maine says, quote, There is no threat from Russia today. NATO is exaggerating the so-called Russian threat, unquote, said Bruce Gagnon, the coordinator of the Global Network Against Weapons and Nuclear Power in Space. The Jewish-controlled American strategy is to keep poking a sharp stick into Russia's eye and then blaming Russia every time they do it, blaming Russia for reacting when Rothschild, represented by the U.S. and NATO, continually kept uh, keep poking them and poking them, trying to get a reaction. That's why the Ukraine has been all about Excuse me. I felt that one coming, folks. That's what Ukraine has been uh, all about. It is to draw Russia in an act of war on their border. They would then give NATO, the Rothschild, uh, the excuse for larger military operations to eventually destroy Christian and uh, Russia and turn in once again into another vassal state of the Jewish bankers. Quote, the U.S. will likely position more heavy weapons into Eastern Europe and then leave them for future use as, their, as this surrounding of Russia continues, unquote, Gagnon told Press TV on Monday. His comments come after the U.S. Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter lauded Washington's decision to station heavy weaponry in Eastern Europe and vowed the United States will defend its allies against Russia. 
the Pentagon chief said the move would be an quote-unquote important step to counter any Russian threat. Russia has never been the aggressor in the Ukraine. We literally have the Zionist Jew Deputy Secretary of State Victoria Nuland on record stating that the U.S. spent over $5 billion to destabilize and topple to arrange the coup against the elected regime in Ukraine of Viktor Yanukovych. Yanukovych. There we go. I think is that how you pronounce it. I'm not Russian. Need any more proof? Actual photo of Newland feeling, uh, feeding U.S. paid protesters in the Ukraine. Quote, the concept is to have uh, sets of equipment principally to support training so that they are already located, uh, located there, including heavy equipment, unquote, Carter said in an address to Berlin, Germany on Monday. Quote, this is the possibility also of more equipment being positioned for contingencies, unquote. Gagnon said, quote, the U.S. Secretary of War Ashton Carter is really the one doing the threatening here as the U.S. and NATO move to store heavy weapons in Eastern Europe near the Russian border, unquote. Quote, the strategy is to keep poking a sharp stick into Russia's eye and then blaming Russia every time they do it, blaming Russia for reacting when the U.S. and NATO, the Rothschilds, continually keep poking them and poking them, trying to get a reaction, he added. The U.S. is accusing the Russians of doing what the U.S. has done in an It's an old technique. It's been well established that whenever you want to commit an act of aggression, you accuse the victim of being the aggressor. That is what the United States is doing. This is more proof that U.S. foreign policy has been hijacked and that the U.S. is run by a Jewish criminal cabal sitting in the city of London in Israel. It is time for the American people to seize control of their own government and end this corruption and put these people in prison or hang them for treason as needed. Quote, Well, I read that already, but I'll read it again. Quote, that's what Ukraine has been all about. It is to draw Russia Russia into an act of war on their border. They would then give NATO the excuse for larger military operations, unquote. Gagnon asserted that the U.S. and its NATO allies are creating the pretext for World War III that could turn into a nuclear war. Did you know that America was once on friendly terms with Russia, but due to Jew hatred of Orthodox Christian Russia, they have poisoned the minds of the Goyim via the media against Russia. Ties between Washington, D.C. and Moscow have reached an all-time low over the crisis in Ukraine, which began after pro-Western forces ousted the country's president, Viktor Yanukovych, in February of 2014. The U.S. accuses Russia of destabilizing Ukraine by supporting pro-Russia forces in the eastern regime. The Kremlin, however, denies the allegations. The source on that is PressTV.com. Christian Russia is again blocking the advance of the one-world government that Jews will lead put Putin out of power and weaken the Christian Russia via the Third World War, then Jerry's, uh, then Jewry's agenda goes unchecked with three devastating goals. One, crush Christianity. Homosexual acts will be promoted using the Bible against, uh, against it will be outlawed as hate speech and the traditional family eroded. Two, population control. Mandatory quote-unquote vaccines with undisclosed sterilization formulas will kick off selective population uh, control. Three, uproot nationalism. With the collapse of borders, a universal welding of the nations will fuse into one diluted whole with a Jewish ruling caste on the top of the heap. Cash will be replaced with digital currency used to buy and sell. A digital account will be embedded in your wrist. Now, I want to point something out here. This is from Smoloko, S-M-O-L-O-K-O dot com. Who are they? They're an independent news organization which always strives to deliver you the recent and past educational and informative information available to you, whether the subject is false flag terrorism, the Illuminati central banking cartel, or worldwide Masonic misconduct, we will always cover it. Please also check out our Facebook page for more information. Okay. Now, I'm going to point something out. 
And there's more on American Liberty Radio Network on Facebook. How to Escape the Age of Mass Delusion. Foreign Intelligence Service Role Players for an Exercise in Support of the U.S. Army. Uh, uh, for the U.S. Army. Three Most Common EMF uh, Hot Spots That Are run it, Ruining Your Health. EMF, Electromagnetic Frequency. And of course... Look why some liberals think the Jefferson Memorial should be taken down. Truth Radio has a meme up there. The end of big banks is nigh as one. That's from uh, government slaves, G-O-V-T slaves dot info. And of course, fa facial recognition software is scanning you where you least expect it. So there you go. That's on American Liberty Radio Network Facebook page. But I want to point something out that's vitally important for all of you to remember and please pay attention to. You seem to think that nothing is, is going wrong. You seem to think that everything is going to work itself out, that this is just a bump in the road. No, folks. This has been talked about millennia ago even before this continent was inhabited by Western Europeans. Did you know that the Vikings first landed on, Amer uh, on, on U.S. soil? Or I should say on American soil? Did you know that? And we call it America, but this is just a land without a name. And the Vikings landed here. There's information and, and archaeological discoveries in Ohio and Kansas and all those areas. Did you know that there was a group of people here long before the Western Europeans? History is a wonderful thing when you look at it. And we look at the good and the bad. Let's just hope we don't repeat the bad. Well, that was different back then. We're different people now. No, we're not. At the base of our existence, we want to control everything. We try hard, very hard, to not, well, let's just say, we try very hard to be nice, to play well with others, when we really don't want to. We were forced to share when we were children, remember that? You wanted to play with your cars and your dolls, but no, your parents came in going, you know, you got to share with other people. No. We have this tendency to think that if we just do the right thing, the future will be better. Where has that gotten us in the United States of America? We've done the right thing. But we've never implemented those things into society of the United States of America. You can sit down with a bunch of people and come to, come to the conclusion and work out situations to where it's going to be beneficial for everybody involved. Oh, yeah, you guys might be sitting around having a beer or, what, you know, just sitting down and enjoying your time together at a picnic or a barbecue and work out all the world's problems. But you always start out the conversations with, man, it would be nice if... And nothing ever gets done. And as we look around and we see these things happening before our eyes, the things that so-called conspiracy theorists were saying were going to happen, I think you better think again as to how you examine these things that are happening. Oh, yeah, and, and, and don't get me wrong. Question everything. Question me. Question everybody. Find the answers on your own. Look at what's happening and decide for yourself what your future is, what you want it to be. And if you want to continue to live in a destroyed 
country of the United States of America by a president who's nothing more than a dictator. And you go ahead and do that. You go ahead and do that. Yeah, go ahead. How's that working out for you? I would say that I don't like his policies. I don't like how he runs his government. I don't really think that he's, you know, really there for the people. But President Vladimir Putin seems like a pretty nice guy. I would like to sit down and chat with him for a few minutes. That would be wonderful. Because he sure seems a hell of a lot nicer than the person we got sitting up in the White House right now. Oh, that makes you a communist. No, that makes me a very inquisitive person trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Why these two can't get along. I don't know. You ever notice how the Russian presidency changes? Well, Putin was in and then he was out. You know, Medvedev was there for a while and now Putin's back in again. Why? Did you hear President Obama at one point say, well, you know, what he said to Medvedev, whatever his name was, or one of the representatives? Yeah, when I get a second term, things are going to change. Of course they will. You remember President Obama's 2008 campaign? No, not the yes we can mantra. The fundamentally... <clears throat> the fundamental transformation of the United States of America. That part. Remember that? Folks, did you see this coming? I don't think so. I don't think you did because you weren't paying attention. I was. I can tell you right now, from this point on, I ain't voting again. It doesn't matter. Your votes don't count. Never have, never will. Your politicians are selected, not elected. I don't care if it's your county board or supervisors or anything else. They're selected, not elected. Your votes don't count. Money buys the offices and money pays for those people to be in those offices has nothing to do with your little uh, mark on a little card or electronically uh, on an electronic device in the polling places you go to it has nothing to do with that and besides have you figured out already that the electronic voting uh, uh you know, the electronic voting is rigged. Do you know that? Yeah, go look it up. You got questions, concerns, comments, even if you disagree with me. The burden of proof is on you, of course. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. American Liberty Radio at USA.com. You can go to the Website at AmericanLibertyRadio.com. Check things out there. If you want to support the American Liberty Radio Network, you can. <clears throat> Just email me and ask me how. And we'll go from there. But continue to listen because I got more to come, man. That's if they don't shut the internet down. Folks, it's always good to come to you and give you this information. But I hope you're encouraged enough to go out and look it up yourself. I want you to remember something. Liberty is the road, and freedom is the goal. <laughs> <laughs>